Hey everyone, it's Susan Jones, and welcome back to week number 52 of my Susan's Sunday Spotlight. I cannot believe that I've created 52 videos, and I have showed up every single week for you in 2019, and honestly, I've had a ton of fun doing it. Make sure you tune into next week's video so you can see what will be happening with my Sunday Spotlight going forward. Last July, I actually shared a game with you called Tower Races, and it was a hands-on number sense game. I'll go ahead and link that up here that a ton of you liked. And I wanted to share another game that I included in that free unit where the Tower Races game was. This one is called First to Fill, and it's an addition partner game that I actually have two versions of. I have one version where you use two dice, so you're rolling two dice to find the sum, and another one that uses three dice to roll and find the sum with three add-ins. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a little video so you can see how to play this game, and then I'll tell you where to grab it. Let's go. So First to Fill is a game for two players, but you only need one game board. And on the game board, there's two different grids. One says Player A and one says Player B. This version is the one with three dice. I have one with two and one with three. So player A will roll all three dice and they will find the sum. Three plus six plus two is 11. So first I have them find the 11 in their grid and they need to write down the equation before they shade in the box with their colored pencil. Um, I do usually tell them to shade it in lightly, so this color was probably not the best choice for my example here. That way when I'm going around I can just quickly assess if they are adding correctly by looking at their grids. So player B rolled 3 plus 5 plus 6 is 14. They will go ahead and do the same in their grid down below. Students will continue rolling, adding, and writing down their sum as they shade in their grid, and they just go back and forth until one of the students has become the first to fill up their grid. If a student goes ahead and rolls a sum that they no longer have in their grid, their turn is skipped. I like this game because students are seeing the different ways they can make a number. Um, different students will each get the same sum, but they may have rolled three different add-ins to get it. And that is how you play first to fill. This game's a free example of the types of games I have in my print and play partner games unit, but this one you can grab entirely for free. I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description where you can go ahead and grab that freebie. As my year of free games has come to an end, I really hope you have enjoyed these videos. I will still be around next week where I will tell you what will be coming with the future of Susan Sunday Spotlight. Ooh, spooky. But for now, if you celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a wonderful holiday break. I hope you enjoy time with your friends and family, and I hope it is as wonderful as you are. Thank you so much for tuning into my videos this year. It has been a blast making these for you, and I've really enjoyed reading the comments I've received and the emails that you guys send me about my videos. I hope, I know 52 videos is a ton, but I really hope that at least some of them have been able to inspire you or give you an idea that you might have needed in your classroom. And even if you didn't need it that week, maybe you could table it and use it later. The best thing about YouTube is that these videos will be up there for you to watch whenever. So even if you don't need this game first to fill, if you don't need it this week, just go ahead and save the video or just remember me for later when you're looking for an addition game. And you can come on here, go to my playlists, and you can click it and press math activities and you can find what you're looking for. As always, I hope you have a wonderful week. Make sure you go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next week. Have a good one, bye.